Yes. This is a turn to process chamber. Comes with this controller. And the controller, as you can see, has three separate controllers built into it. One showing the process temperature, the process pressure, and the vessel wall temperature. This unit is built with a jacket around it to heat the walls, which will then be measured here. And this one will show the internal process temperature. The chamber has a maximum capacity of 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 204 degrees Celsius, and a maximum pressure of 200 PSI. To control the heat for this unit, you would change the temperature here, and there's a manual that would come with it to go through it to set the set point. And you can see by just pushing this once, it shows the set point and then we could change it as, as needed. So I've set it for 130 degrees. Since it has a maximum temperature of uh, 204 degrees Celsius, these are both in Celsius, um, when you set this temperature, it'll start heating the blanket. And on this gauge, you'll see this temperature begin to rise. It may even oh, way overshoot by 30 or 40 degrees, maybe even 50 degrees, the process temperature. But you'll see that this temperature is rising very slowly. There is an alarm built into here. Uh, it's currently set for 190 degrees, uh, but that can be changed to upwards, uh, but I wouldn't go much above the uh, maximum temperature. But it will alarm and, and keep the heat control in check. And this, once it comes down a little bit, it'll continue to heat. Eventually, this will get up to the temperature that you require. The best I've seen here is 130 um, without having a, a, this alarm condition go off uh, a lot. Uh, so I'm not sure what exactly pressure or temperature that this can go up to. I would imagine that if you took it up in slow degrees, uh, you may be able to keep this in check and still build up more temperature in here. But seeing how that the maximum temperature is 204, we don't want to exceed that over here. The center controller here is for the pressure, and it has an electronic pressure regulator in the back. And very simple to change this one. You can just, this is the set point, that's the actual. There's also a gauge that's sitting on top of the unit uh, that has a feedback to this uh, pressure uh, monitor and so I can just change this by holding that in and go up to 80 and it will automatically start building up the pressure And as you can see, it's, it's very, very precise and uh, controls very nicely at the, whatever pressure you've set. I've gone through the range. Uh, it's, it does very well. And you can hear the regulator in the back cycling as it monitors the pressure in, in the rear. On top here, we have the fan control. There's a fan blade mounted in the back of the unit uh, to circulate the inside of the process oven. Uh, on and off is here, and then you have a percentage of speed, 0 to 100. Uh, very simple, you just turn it whichever speed you want it to for your process. Okay. Here's the unit itself, and at the top you can see we have this uh, pressure gauge here, and as you can see we set it to 80, and that's where it's at on, on the gauge, and that goes as has a range of 0 to 200. 
uh, heater blanket around the whole unit. The door is here. It's held on by these. You would unscrew these to bring this away from these two pins. And then there's a handle on the right hand side that will separate this unit uh, like a clamshell. Then the door will swing open. There's uh, shelves inside there and then you'll see the fan blade in the back. Okay, here you can see the pressure regulator. There is a constant uh, changing of the pressure. Your input is here, and the bellows is here, and there's a, uh, a port coming out here, so there's a constant outward flow uh, that cycles compared to what the input pressure is and what you have set on the pressure gauge. Temperature of the in inside of the process is here. There's a vent valve here. When you cycle the pressure down, it'll vent out. And this piece here is for the control for the fans. 